Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I am here to do the Green Moon reading for the Taurus, okay? So, um, there was a, I guess they're saying it's a hoax of us having a green moon, this full moon. Um, I believe it's around the 22nd now, so in about eight days, we'll have a green moon. I consider every full moon to be a green money moon. So we're going to be looking at the financial situation of the Taurus for the last half of this month um, and just to see what is going to happen. So um, I'm going to start shuffling and we're just going to ask about the Taurus's uh, current financial situation. Okay, will money be coming into the Taurus's life very soon? Money opportunities, the Quarant or the Taurus may wish to consider more closely who or what project will bring in more money and the outcome. And everything over okay so we got the five cards laid out and okay sorry about this i don't know what's going on with that um so your first card is going to be your current financial foundation and you did get the three of coins which is a very very good card i mean you can't get any better than that i can see you um working with um working on a project or something it's really important um you're taking energies from um, each person there's it's like a collaboration okay some sort of um, some sort of creative project that is being worked on now I will tell you this that this card does mean that your money is not really balanced so you are having some issues with balancing your money okay when this card comes up I mean you're working to achieve that balance but you know it's still but all in all with with as far as uh, work career money this is a good omen um it's it's a really good card so this um you can't really get any better than the three of pentacles because this is about increase okay so your money um is definitely increasing and this is for the taurus and so um what you can what i what i'm seeing for a lot of you Taurus is, is you mastering something you being successful and you used it with teamwork so you're doing really good at job at, <clears throat> you're doing really good on your job and it's really gonna pay off okay um card number two is your uh will money be coming into your life very soon and um i did get the four of coins so I mean, I get the sense that whatever, whatever you got going on, it seems like there, there could be an issue, okay? And the reason why is because it seems like whoever this person is that's working with you on this project, they're kind of holding on to the money really tight. And that's not really a good thing because I get the sense that this person is a little unscrupulous. However, the four of coins is a really good card. So there is going to be money coming in, but you just want to be careful to not get cheated. Make sure that you get paid for the project that you're working on. Don't let nobody hold out on you. So that's what I'm seeing this, this old miser doing is, is holding out the money on you. Okay. Um, also, it means that um, you may be money holding on to money too tight. You might be being a little too selfish with money, Taurus. So... You know, when you see the uh, four of coins, you know, this is someone who who hoards money. Okay, so you don't, you want to be careful not to do that because, you know, the energy that you're going to manifest, if you're being really selfish with your money, then the universe is probably going to be selfish to you. So the answer is yes, but don't be selfish with it, okay? 
Um, money opportunities that you may want to wish to consider more closely and you did get the death card so you know what i'm going to say that this card is saying that you know if there's a if there's like a career path that's totally different <clears throat> than what you've been doing um you need to take it because the death card represents transformation And it represents change. So I get the sense that whatever this thing that you're thinking about doing, you're going to end up doing it whether or not you, you're going to kind of end up being almost forced into it, but not forced into it. Like your path is going to lead you to it. And it's probably going to be a little scary at first, but this is actually going to bring about positive change for you. Okay. Card number four is who or what project will bring in more money, okay? Now, you got the Eight of Cups. So, you need to narrow it down. You need to figure out what it is that you want to do, okay? Because you're going in all different directions is what this means. This Eight of Cups is abandonment, avoiding some sort of change in lifestyle. So, again, with the Death card, this, this card makes sense because... You're going to be leaving and going somewhere towards. You're going to be uh, possibly doing some traveling or maybe even doing some personal development. So this card might be saying to you, to some of you Tauruses, is that you need to work on your personal development because um, the Eight of Cups is where... You just leave all your cups behind. of what I can tell you about this eight of cups in regards to finances your emotions are gonna possibly upset your finances in some kind of way it's gonna throw things off at work okay especially during the energies of the full moon there's gonna be a lot of emotions at play Okay, so this is the card of leaving. So you're going to be leaving a job or leaving a situation. Your outcome is the Knight of Swords. So there's going to be some sort of message. Um, Taurus, this month, you're going to be... Uh, this could indicate that some of you might be getting a pink slip. Um, the Knight is a messenger. Now, this isn't going to job well for all of you, but I have to be honest with you. Um, I can see things are kind of on the, the, the burner at work or the fritz. Things are kind of chaotic at your current job. The Knight of Swords is a fairly cheerful energy. It's a lot of energy. Your energy is going to be at its peak. This um, green moon. And this is going to be about activity and, again, travel. So you're going to be out and about. It might be out just, it could be to a different location. Um, and it can also mean with your finances... It's going to be looking good. So for some of you, this could be a messenger giving you good or bad news. But that bad news that you get is going to lead to something better. Okay, if you want a more personalized reading, contact me on my website. Thumbs up this video. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you later. Bye.